Welcome back to another video of Activeverse Universe today is a new day and we got a what? We got a Let's go! go. Alright guys, today, you know what I'm saying? Something, 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 something. Before we get into the video, <laughs> just gonna find out after the intro. Here is Intro! Intro! What's good guys? Uh, I just got a desk coming. I really not good. Can you shut that off? Okay, can you shut off for just two seconds yes. so I can introduce? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Don't be a simp. <laughs> guys, can you explain what a simp is in the comments? <laughs> I just got a desk that came in today. I ordered it online because I was tired of that desk over there. Uh, and it, the color don't even match what we're doing in this house. So I ordered something that I would like to, you know what I'm saying? I would like to have the house look like in a way. We kind of talked about this too. So just picked on something that, you know what I'm saying, that we both like. So I'm going to set that desk up and see what you guys think. Hopefully it's not small, you know what I'm saying? Because you know how Amazon, not Amazon, but some different websites, you know, how they show you something look real big and nice and then you get it, it's like. What is that? What is that? So, I'm gonna set that up. Y'all just watch me. The worst thing about building something is whenever you're looking for something that you misplaced somewhere or the thing that you have not taken out the box and you're like, I think that something is missing. And then later on it'll be in the box when you're about to throw it out or something. I don't know, I've fixed so many things that that happened to me before. I usually don't use manual, maybe that's why, but I'm gonna use manual this time maybe. <laughs> This is guys what my desk looked like after that this thing turns. This whole thing turns like this. Whoa. Oh like that. And then I can have like an office look type thing. So like, that's what it looks like. I'm over the couch. Right there. 1K, we just hit 1K on our YouTube for our first family. 
So make sure you go subscribe, get that to 2K. And then we got that. Now the balcony, you can just go out easily. We have to get rid of all those things. It used to be covered by the chair or by the couch, but now it's not covered, it's exposed. It looks ugly. We selling all that stuff. So if you wanna buy any of these things, you just hit us up. But it'd be sold by then. So yeah, we got the couch there. And we're gonna do some more decoration. This is just temporary. This is not gonna be our permanent thing. You wanna switch that up? And put the light right there. Yes, sir. All right, guys. Yeah, the desk is set up and everything. Uh, I'm gonna be putting more stuff to it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I want to put like books there and like like a little like little decoration thing on top of it to make it look nice. But what do you guys think about the desk? A lot of you guys probably see my hair. Why do you keep putting a ponytail? Why do you do this and all that stuff? And to be honest with you, I don't want to keep it in a ponytail. It's because of one thing. It's because I don't want to retwist my hair. And I'm gonna tell you the reason why, okay? Just bear with me. But I'm gonna show you right now what my hair looks like. Take my hair down. I'm gonna put the ponytail for like a week without being taken down. I need to wash my hair for sure. Separate it. That's what I learned recently. But as you guys can see, there is whiteness to the roots of my, the end of my dreadlocks. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's like, see that whiteness? And it's what what I've discovered recently. What happened was when I got my last retwist, all that dandruff basically got stuck. Look at that. See that? So that's this is my last retwist. So I've I've had this new growth since my last retwist. This is my new growth. So the last retwist basically had everything locked inside it. My dandruff. So I discovered that recently. As I was like, okay, let me see if I can maybe comb this out, maybe, right? I was not gonna comb it out, but I started, I kept on going up and up. And as I got to the end of the knot, or to the beginning of the knot, I guess you could say, I found that it is freaking dandruff stuck in my dreads. And that's on each of them that got retwisted, right? So everything that got retwisted, I know the camera's like all the way up here. Everything that got retwisted recently, was retwisted with a whole dandruff buildup. So sometimes it's not just dandruff, it could be buildup, right? Water buildup, gel, and everything. My hair is sensitive. My hair is so sensitive. It can dry things up so fast. Anything my, my hair touches, it will dry it up and it just like, just contains it right there. And so with lock, the con about dreadlock is the cleansiness, like how to clean it, how to make it perfect, which you can't, but having that much buildup is not healthy at all. I'd rather get rid of my dreadlocks and have my hair be built up like that and keep on retwisting it and keep on retwisting it with a new growth and guess what it's going to start going down with the whole new growth that i'm going to have down and as i keep retwisting it my dread will keep on holding to those dandruff and to those buildups right this is what i'm gonna do right this is a solution for it but before i tell you the solution i want to show you the fullness of some of these locks okay so don't get disgusted but it is what it is you know what i'm saying i always say i don't have the perfect lock but i have the best drill locks you know what i'm saying it look nice but it's not the best right so it's always you got to make sure that the whole thing is like the dreadlock entirely is looking from the inside out looking good right because a lot of people just neglect those things that they see and i do not want to be one of those people so this could have been like if i didn't untangle what i just showed you guys what would have happened is it would have been lot retwisted like that and yeah nothing is wrong with it and then it's going to keep growing so it's going to keep going down so the new one is going to have the same issues going to keep going down so now this whole thing will be filled with dandruff and literally it will look nasty or it will mold or i don't know what it would do to my dreadlocks but i don't i'm not trying to risk it i'm not trying to so i took out some of them recently actually so as you guys can see this whole dreadlock is out the new growth is about three inches two inches about yeah about two inches and so let's see that's the retwisted part see that that is not that is not healthy that needs to come out it's all come out and it's from like the dye from the bleach from everything that i've done to my dreadlocks and that's the cons about basically having dreadlocks. So it looked like a chalk. Like somebody drew a chalk on my bottom of my dreads because of how, you know, bad it is, how bad it looks. So this is not too bad right here, but there's some right here. And then keep going down. See, I can go all the way down here, to be honest with you. That's a whole new growth. Well, I got retwisted up to here. And so now I'm taking it down to get these out. So 
I can even comb out my dreads to be honest with you. Or cut out, cut my dread to here, start a new dread lock set. And then, you know, start cleaning the thing and start it fresh. But I've came a long way to do that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna resolve the problem with a few things. So this is the way I'm thinking about solving the whole problem. I'm gonna comb out my dreadlocks. Not fully, but up to where the buildup is at. So the buildup is like I said, at the bottom of the every lock that I retwist that I had last time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna comb it out in a way for like from the bottom, like, like you know, get a pick. Just comb a little bit, like make an alpha off the bottom. You know, the section will hold. You can make new sections, it don't matter. And literally just soak up my dreads with hot water, vinegar, apple cider vinegar, and baking soda. And I'm gonna do this whole process as a transformation because I told you guys uh, I've received some products to, you know, wash my scalp, wash my dandruff out, and take care of my hair oil and stuff like that from Timber at She's Locked in Love, the person that did the retwist right last time you seen. She has given me some products to review and to, to, to demonstrate basically. So starting next week, I'm gonna do the whole process. I'm gonna show you guys when I wash it, when I comb it out, wash it, and then retwist it. And then on a separate video, I'm gonna show a whole journey, including that video, and a whole month journey of me. It's gonna be the month of October, yeah. Of me getting rid of, fully trying to get rid of my dreadlocks with products that I got. And these products are not just chemicals or anything like that. These are like new nutrients that your hair needs to kind of like exist naturally like not putting too much things in your hair as least things as possible to put into my dreadlocks and my scalp to get my dreadlocks to be healthy also to for my scalp to stop producing so much dandruff and dandruff is dead skin so my skin gets dry that's all it means faster than others I do have good skin you know what I'm saying as you guys can see I do have good skin I have soft skin but that level of dandruff is caused by I feel like I mean the amount of oil that my hair is not really producing like my scalp is not producing that much oil to where it holds up all that hair I guess I, I'm thinking this is my just this is this is just my thoughts okay this is not research or anything like that I think the fact the fact that that happens is that my hair takes a lot of nutrition for an oil from my hair and from my head from my scalp to where it has no more nutrition even if I put oil in it it just it just doesn't help it the oil doesn't go inside to where it's like inside my you know what i'm saying inside my i don't know what they're called but like where the hair grows at so i'm thinking like maybe the right oil would do it because i've tried different type of oil but the oil that i've got from her she told me that it contains tea trees in it but the right amount of tea trees because there's some products that have too much and so she said there's tea trees in it and she said that there's different things that she put that works really good for my type of hair and people that have dreadlocks so I'm thankful for that. I'm gonna try that because I don't want to give up on the dreadlocks. You know, because sometimes you're like, I don't want to give up on these dreadlocks. And not saying give up like on dreadlocks in general, but saying like give up on what I have right now. But I've came so far, you know what I'm saying? And my next move is like platinum, you know what I'm saying? To dye a platinum and stuff. And I want to see my hair dyed platinum. And that's not gonna be there till maybe I hit 100K or 50K, whichever one comes first. So. <laughs> So for those of you guys that's been supporting, thank you. I do not want to give up on these hairs. You guys have given me so much advice for my dandruff and I have tried them, it's not working. So this month, I'm gonna be very consistent with what I know to do and with the stuff that I have so that I can help you guys for those of you guys that have the same problem because a lot of y'all don't have dandruff problem. A lot of y'all just don't wash your hair or don't do the simple things that you should do to your hair and that's why you guys have a little bit of dandruff. But versus somebody that does that and still have dandruff is two different things. You know, some people say go see the doctor Go see this and yeah, there's medicines probably for it, but I don't think there's a medicine made with having drill locks, you know? I think those medicines are for those like people that have short hair, you know, you could just apply it without having buildups. The drill locks is very different. It will hold it, it will keep it, and it will grow with it. So that's kind of not what I want to do. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know you guys going to comment down and tell me guys new things that you guys maybe tried and worked. So go ahead and do that. I appreciate that. Thank you guys for 15K. I forgot to thank you guys about that. Thank you guys for 15K. Uh, we just hit 10K, 15 now back to back. Thank you so much and you know, a lot more places to go. And I have like a, I have like a new video idea that I'm about to do soon. It's on, it's on Uber and stuff like that. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that and get entertained by it. Subscribe to the Verse family, check that out. Thank you guys for watching this video, but till next time, keep acting the verse and creating your universe. I'm Activerse and I'm out. Stay tuned. You dig?